Hey, so many of you have been asking me about the sub pass through that I have in my 2016 Honda Accord um, where I modified the rear seat. And so I'm going to try to show you guys how I did that without tearing my car apart. So, um, but my first plan was is the Honda Accord, it has a three quarter split. So you can see the, hopefully you can see that line right there. Okay, from this over is one piece, and then from here over is another piece. Um, but it's all solid. Um, and I wanted to be able to get more base into my car. And if you look up underneath here, it's, it's sealed. Now on the um, Touring, and I think the EX and EXL models, there's actually a, sub, a subwoofer that's mounted right here. Um, but I didn't want to cut this deck lid out. Now, the trunk is all dynamated, and as well as the back deck is all dynamated as well. I got focal, um, focal uh, coaxials installed. I think they're, they're PS165X maybe, that's installed back here. So what my original plan was, was to install one of these. Now this is out of an early model Honda Accord. And so it was going to take some modification, but you, you basically pull, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to, I don't think. Yeah, there you go. So you pull this down and then that folds open. And then now you have a pass through. And so it would get mounted almost just like this into the back of the seat. The challenge with that though, was that I would have to really do a lot of modifications to this piece to make it work. And then I still wasn't gonna be happy with the way that it looked. So I think I've already detached this piece over here. Yeah, so this wouldn't even go flush in there. And so I wasn't too happy about that part. So I decided to scrap that whole idea and do something different. So my next plan, let me get this out of the way. Sorry about my garage, it's an absolute mess in here. It's been so hot. I haven't been down here much. So my next plan was, was to figure out, now this is what it looks like right now. As you can see, there's just some fabric that's here. But normally there's this big plastic piece that goes in there. So I wanted to be able to remove that and then open up the seat so that the sound could all come through into the cabin of the car. So here's what I did. So, excuse me guys, it's hot out here. You can already see I'm sweating all over the seat. So the first thing you'll need to do is, is pull back on this. So let me climb in here. And there is going to be screw see that screw right there I'm gonna pull back a little bit so I'm in the corner this is the back seat this corner you want to remove that not screw but that bolt I think it's a 10 millimeter now once you take that out this side panel will push up on it this way and then it will come out so do that for both sides there's another one right here on this other side as well that pulls those out now after you've done that let me get back out of the car oh. this is velcroed you can see that there's a bracket so behind this panel is the other side this bracket and unfortunately I, I can't show it to you without having to pull this pa this panel out and I don't really want to do it don't remove it from here 
because you're still going to have a hard time probably trying to get this thing out of here. And then uh, go ahead and fold this, fold this thing forward. And then you can see there's some of those push tab things like these right here. There's one here, and then there's another one on the other side. So you'll need to push all this stuff back out of the way. And the reason why that is is because this fabric, see this fabric right here? This goes up underneath this and it's pushed in through there. It keeps it pull from pulling out. And I think there's another one underneath here. And then there's uh, another one that's right there. So you'll want to pull these out, these two. Once you do that, then you can, it frees up this fabric here and it frees up this fabric right here. Okay. Now, once you've taken this, this bolt out that's here and then this is loose this whole piece or this whole section of the seat will just pull out and then you can just remove it okay so now this piece comes out now once you're able to remove this one um, I can't remember if there's a bolt right here on this other side. For some reason, I, th I think there was a bolt, but somehow it's it's hinged right here. But once you pull this one out, um, it's obvious how this this section here comes out. So it will be the same thing. So once you, you remove that bolt for the bracket, it's here, right, on that side. And then this fabric is loose through here then this whole seat will come out as well. And then you, you have this out of the car and you can work on it, do whatever it is that you want to do with it, okay? Now, once you have it out of the car, this is Velcroed across the back. You can see the Velcro there. And then there's also a zipper that runs. Was there a zipper on this? Yeah, it's right here. So here's your zipper. Okay, and then here you can kind of see what I did is I looked at the front because there's there's metal. This is aluminum. That's it's more aluminum, not metal, but aluminum that's all the way across the back of this and the back of, of this section here. And so I took my Dremel and then I cut it out, and I had purchased. this which was a much larger piece um, I purchased it at Home Depot and then I cut it down to size it's kind of oily feeling the size that I wanted and then I used E6000 which is a, a silicone and you can see that uh I siliconed it all the way around and I did it in such a way as to make sure there were no sharp edges. I don't know if I can. It's hard to see, but you get the idea. Now, another thing was this back is removing, removing this armrest. So, like I said, there's, there's this plastic piece here that's back behind this, right? And so you want to move as much as you can here in order to allow the, the, the sound to travel into the car. There's actually a, it's going to be really hard to get it, but there is a plastic piece that is right, yeah, I can't see it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's a rod that runs through here. It goes 
through this armrest into this side and then into this side. If you put your fingers in there, you can feel a little plastic piece. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this, pop it with my fingers. Try to. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to pull this out and you'll see what I'm talking about. See that? That's it. So you want to pop this out. The reason why you want to do that is because this has to shift to the driver's side and then pull out because this rod is longer on this end than this end. That's why that's over there to prevent it from, from moving over. So let me show you how to uh, get this thing out. Let's see if I can uh, set this thing up on the tripod. Okay. Hopefully this works. You guys can see. Right, so I'm sweating. You guys better like this video because I'm sweating my balls off in here. So here's that piece, right? And it's it's wedged in between there and it's on this rod. So once you've pulled this off, look at that. Once you pull this out, okay, then the next thing you want to do is get your hands on this side and then and then you want to pull. Just like that. Okay, and you can see how it's wanting to turn because it's just kind of push fit, right? So you, you're wanting to try to kind of push this way and pull at the same time. And then this piece will come out. You can kind of see there, short rod on this side, longer rod on this side, and the rod, see how it's angled? That's to allow it to come out this way okay now it's possible that you could even probably do cut this metal out with even without removing the back seat but I didn't want to risk it so I just thought I'd just take the whole thing out just let me move this tripod Okay, so now if I just grab this, you can see this aluminum that's back here. You see that? And then this is the metal that I glued from the back side. So this fabric is actually fairly thick. The fabric that's on the back side of the seat is really, really thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flashlight, I'm going to put it in the trunk, let it kind of shine through, and you can actually see, or actually, let's go the other way around. You can actually see how thin it is. Eh. You can see there, see where it's it's lighter at the bottom. So let's go ahead and let's just stick a flashlight in here. Here's my uh, Milwaukee. Okay, so you can see I just have a flashlight set in there. See all that light? So, so that fabric's actually pretty thin. So you might be able to cut this from the inside. Yeah, you might be able to cut the metal from the inside, remove it, and then glue this in from the inside and then you'll have exactly what I have. Now, one of the reasons for doing this was, again, to let as much um, sound 
from the subwoofer through into the back of the seat and oh I forgot about this piece so once you remove the armrest this thing is in there yeah I forgot about this piece this is like shoved in there right and this funky shape is up toward the top because there's a latch that's right there or no that's the post from the headrest that's there and what I did to get it out I just got my I wedged my fingers in there and I just pulled until it came out it's super super flexible so I wouldn't worry about breaking it it's not gonna break easy there may be an easier way to get this thing out if there is I don't know what it is but what I'm still planning to do is I'm wanting to cut this carpet maybe about like this to allow a whole lot more air to come through there or sound to come through that and once I've done that I want to make use this kind of as a template for a grill maybe I should just order another one of these that's actually not a bad idea if I could order another one of these I could actually just cut it out and then actually cover it in a speaker grill cloth and keep this one to put back in there huh it's actually a really good idea that away because this right here is still what's preventing a lot of the the sound to come through is once that's gone I mean as you can see that's the light from that flashlight because even if I just pull this like this with the armrest in place there's a sound difference you can definitely tell it so hmm it's actually a good idea I think I'll go on eBay and see if I can find another one of these I'll have to see if I can find the part number for it Honda cover armrest rear right rear seat it says 82995T2FA010M1 yeah I think I'll go online see if I can find one of those I don't know I may jank up the uh, speaker cloth though on it trying to get that stupid thing in there but I'll figure something out but anyway so that's that's what what I've done and of course you know you just put everything back together as it was and to get the uh, armrest back in there it just goes back in the reverse order let me show you this actually you can see see right here there's a hole so that's that's where and then there's another one on that side so that's where these pieces are going in it's hot I live in Florida I'm in a garage and I have the fans off because it's too loud um, yeah I think I'm gonna order another one of these and then cut out the opening and then uh, just wrap the whole thing in speaker cloth and then that way I save this I think that's what I'm gonna do but the reason why I, I glued this piece into place was just in case there was something in the trunk that slid I didn't want it to come through the rear seat or I at least wanted something in place so that's the reason why I put that there so I hope that answers this question um, I know that a lot of you guys have asked about the head unit and man what a chore that was um, I'll see what I can do about trying to put a video together um, explaining how I did that it was it was a pain in the ass I mean once you're if you're like me I mean I'm somewhat mechanically inclined but to, to do that was guys it was a pain in the ass and I ended up spending you know a fair amount of money getting it done too the head unit was new 
I had just bought it and I think I paid 13 I think I paid like $1,300 for that head unit and then the 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 factory head unit I had to bury into the dash and uh, there was a bracket or not a bracket like a harness um, that I had to have made and there was a guy on on he used to be on the Honda forums and he used to make those uh, harnesses I don't think he's on there anymore I, th I think last time I talked to him he said that he had gotten banned so he's actually selling those harnesses on eBay now and I think the harness itself was like two hundred dollars and uh, so I had to send the factory Kenwood harness from the head unit to him um, and then it took him probably about a couple weeks I think to build the harness and put in the steering wheel controls and that kind of thing and then it was a matter of trying to figure it all out he did send a uh, PDF and I mean he was his service was amazing he was always available for questions but you know I really was not easy about tearing my whole dash apart and I was afraid that you know I would screw up something with electrical I, I you know installing speakers or subwoofer is kind of one thing but the, the head unit in this car um, it's it's all tied in with the up the MIDI um, display and uh, it's at the top of the dash which has all the um, fuel efficiency and mileage and all that that stuff and clock and it was quite a process um, so that's the reason why I haven't done a video because I like to never got it all back together because like I said I had to install or I didn't have to but I also installed the Nvidia shield which was a Navic unit and um, I think I'll pay somebody next time to do it it was just yeah but it's done and, and I'm happy with it but I gotta say that um, if I decide to get rid of the car I'm not taking it all out it was that much of a pain in the butt I'll let it go with the car <laughs> I, I don't I don't want to go there again I'll probably leave the whole stereo and everything in it it's just too big of a pain in the ass anyway um, got way off track uh, and, and on top off topic and so anyway um, this modification to the rear seat though I I strongly suggest it it's really easy uh, it's really easy to do it just takes some time um, but yeah it's just as simple as uh, taking the taking the bolt out you know from down here removing this then there's a bracket uh, if I remember right yeah that goes from this and then goes down you'll want to remove it and then this part of the seat when you pop it loose it comes out this way and very similar on the other side and I can't remember though if there's another bracket on this side I know that there's a hinge kind of thing here it's actually pretty obvious once you get there you know you'll know exactly what to do um, and then once you you get this piece out um, well, you'll have to remove the those pins in the back that, that holds the back carpet uh, of the seats down. And uh, once you pop those out, um, yeah, then you'll be able to remove these. And then Velcro across the bottom, a zipper on this side. And I actually, I didn't remove the whole fabric or anything. I actually just peeled it back. And... Uh, pulled it to the side while I cut out the, the opening that I wanted and uh, yeah that was pretty much it so I hope this helps you guys and be sure to uh, to like this video please it's uh see me sweating everywhere just to show you guys because I know a lot of people's been asking about it so all right well I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'll see if I can try to get another video together to show you how I did the head unit and uh, but it's it's gonna take me some time to try to get that together alright thanks guys appreciate you watching alright bye